time for Unit 4. So let's bring up um, the spreadsheet. So we're going to look at Unit 4, Critical and Contextual Awareness. This is a unit which is hard to teach, hard to do, hard to um, explain, um, but let's, let's do my best here. Um, so, learning outcome one. Understand critical perspectives that influence the analysis of creative media production activities. Okay, so let's take an example and think about some evidence you could use. Um, you could look at a computer game or a piece of computational art um, and look at and analyse how that was created. The sort of things you'd be looking at would be who created it, who was the coder, who was the, um, I don't know, the, the artist, um, when was it done, what hardware did they use, what software did they use, um, what was the meaning that was the artist was trying to convey, for example, are they trying to convey something about uh, gender equality, politics, um, globalisation, um, I don't know, all those sort of social, political things that artists like to uh, rant and rave about. So is there some sort of meaning attached to it? Okay, so for this you need to choose a piece of um, um, computational art or choose a computer game and pick it apart and try to analyse why was it made in this way. And the reason you're doing that is because it can then inform your own ideas. You might find that this guy called Jason Bruges, for example, um, he might have made something that's going to inspire you to make something similar. Maybe he's used a particular technique or a particular piece of hardware and then it's going to give you an idea. Okay, so it's really important you sort of look at other people's work so you can develop your own ideas. So you've got to look at three examples where you've looked at other people's work, um, you've picked it apart, you've done the critical analysis, um, <clears throat> and you've written that up in a blog post. That's, that's the normal way of doing it. You could do what I'm doing now and do a screen recording. I quite like doing these. I quite sort of enjoy the sound of my own voice. I think I'm a, a frustrated TV presenter. Um, I don't think I'd have been very good at it because I keep stumbling over my words. However, I quite enjoy doing these sort of s screen recordings. So you might want to do that too, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be a blog post. Um, so three bits of evidence where you've done that. And then the second part, understand context. So the context with which creative media is positioned. So contextual awareness. For example, you might be, I'll keep using this example, making a game in Unity um, about World War II. So the context in this case is war. Um, and you could talk about, you know, what it was like to be around in World War II, what it might be like to be a soldier or the mother of a soldier or the wife of a soldier. And you're starting to get into a real sort of feel for the context of what you're making. But there's other contexts as well, not just war. Um, there's political contexts, there's social contexts, so people are, for example, um, Banksy is a good person to use as, a, as an example. Um, Banksy is a street artist and his work is oft, quite often political in some way. Um, so, so he is um, of, often using a political context within his work. So you, this is a this is a unit where you might want to do go and have a look at the specification, which I've still got open up here. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at Unit 4. What does it say? So you click on this link here, and it takes you here. And down in Unit 4, it's really worth reading these assessment criteria, and it's definitely worth reading this here, giving you a range of activities which you could um, include. Okay, so let's just pick one out, shall we? An exploration of equality and diversity and the representation of minorities within the industry. Um, okay, you could look f if you're make you could look at how computer games often have the main character is as a male. I don't know what the percentage is, but I should imagine um, there's a high percentage of games where the the main protagonist, the main character, 
is a man and possibly a white male so you could look at that um, or you could look at you know the number of um, women in who are who work in computing it's quite small you could look at that um, or you know what else could we look at there let's have a look at another example I'm just having a look at one which you might be interested in the use of correct subject terminology so when you are doing a doing some critical analysis you need to be talking the talk okay this is something that you might need help with um, and Matt Rowe is probably the best person to help you with this now if you're talking about a painting I can give you an example you might be talking about the saturation how the, how the colors might be saturated colors so that word saturation is the correct terminology to use for very very bright colors okay so using the terminology which artists use and which art critics use um, is what we're after here now if you apply that to coding you could take someone someone's code someone get, get a good piece of code off the internet and pick it apart using the correct terminology to, descri to des describe what they've done and why they've done it so you could look at how they've structured their code into functions so using the word functions is using the correct terminology you could look at how um, they've made it modular by using functions so once again that worse of the word modular shows that you know what you're talking about you could ha see how they've used objects and classes um, once again using those sort of words proves that you know what you're talking about and I will set you an activity um, where you do this okay so we'll, we'll cover that in class okay so um, unit 4 I've, I've probably gone on far too long about this but it's a difficult topic um, so it's well worth just getting your head around it by reading the specification that's all I'm going to say for now